Chandler remains in the backfield on second down and nine. On play action, Howell taps it, fires it over the middle, complete at the 45. In the Duke territory, that's the tight end, Garrett Walston, a pickup of 27 yards. They were a little discouraged at how Georgia Tech physically were able to push them back, especially in the short yardage area. On third down, heavy pressure for the backside. Howell goes down, another sack. Dwayne Carter, a loss of five. Still want to see him let it rip a little bit, get the ball down the field a little more. Holmberg, a fifth-year senior at quarterback, but there is the start of the offense, breaking tackles and finding a big alley on the left side. That is Mateo Durant. This area told me he remembers how much fun it was as a kid to go to school the next week and brag to his Carolina friends about a win. Guys, this one matters. There was a little extra juice in practice for both of these teams this week. Adel Howe, another third and long, third and 11, trips to the near side. Howell taps and fires over the middle. Great catch as he is clobbered. That's Josh Downs in heavy traffic. Took a lick from Lummy Young, kept on ticking for 15. On third and seven, Howell cocks and fires. Oh, there's an open target at the 40. Foot race down the sideline. Breaks a tackle at the 20. Stumbling at the 10 and a touchdown. How about Ty Chandler out of the backfield for 75 yards? A sigh of relief, but this is all Sam Howell. Watch him in the pocket. Buys just enough time. It's the pump fake. Gets the ball out, and that's just Ty Chandler. That's just a speed on the outside. Terrific block by Josh Downs to free him up. I, I think so. I think people got a little too critical too early due to the loss at, at UCLA. That's a good UCLA team that Chip Kelly has. Stinson on the return, weaving his way. Penalty flag falls after a good return out to the 40-yard line. A return to 35 yards. Kevin, thank you so much. I don't know if there's a better defense in America than Georgia. As Mateo Durant with a head of steam behind him. Taman Fox on the stop, but 20 more yards for Durant. Four man rush. Holmberg steps up, has it knocked away. Was the arm going forward? No whistle. Tar Heels will take it the distance. That's Trey Morrison for the touchdown. We're rolling on the field with the fumble. Recovered by North Carolina and advanced for a touchdown. And our replay official today is Ted Jackson. Yeah. And again, I, I always go back to if it's empty hand when yeah. it's going forward, Correct. that's going to be a fumble. Yeah, the motion backwards starts to throw. But before the hand could go forward, the ball was already out of the hand. Mm -hmm. It was an empty hand going forward. That will be a fumble return by <laughs> Trey Morrison for a touchdown. And just like that, we went for, for almost a scoreless first quarter to yeah. two big <laughs> plays back to back. Then with Mateo Durant, who has that home run ability. But again, 35 for Gunnar Holmberg. Blue Devils have not had a reception more than five yards. They won't get one here. Swallowed up in the backfield. That is Tamari Fox. I mean, he's a stoic guy, very quiet, very composed. Doesn't get overly enthusiastic. And he's not going to get overly enthused about that play as he hits the turf again. From the 48-yard line. Delay handoff, gaping hole up the middle, past the 40, and tripped up at the 35-yard line. From the 34, Howell going to tuck it and run and has some daylight. 25-20, Howell's got some speed. Howell dragging defenders all the way to the one-yard line. 33-yard run for Sam Howell. On first and goal. Fake the handoff, little toss, and a touchdown. The tight end, Kamari Morales, two-yard score and career touchdown pass, number 81 for Sam Howell. That's a great call down here by the goal line. Phil Longo show you the eye candy of Josh Downs. All eyes on Downs. With Howell, they kept saying his core. Right. His core is so strong that even though he's not the biggest guy, he's hard to bring down. He can make throws when he's off balance. I thought that was an interesting. You don't hear a whole lot of talk about a quarterback's core. Willingness to do it when it's needed, 
And you saw it on that last drive. You were complimenting my core this morning, and I appreciate that, <laughs> Kirk. That's very nice of you to say. Well, I think you look at just the preseason, and we expected North Carolina. We expected Miami. And it just hasn't been there so far. Josh Downs has been there all year long. Down re reversing field at the 42. Andre Bly, who Mac Brown had just hired to coach corners. And Gary told me his wife came home and said, hey, Josh really likes what they're doing there. Dropped it right in the bucket and a rare miscue by Downs. 28 yard attempt by Grayson Atkins. Field goal touchdown either to go into the half. Holmberg out of the shotgun, four wide set. Immediately gets dropped for a sack. That's the fourth Tar Heel sack on the day. And that is Taman Fox out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. You want to protect your quarterback? We've got to run the heck out of the football. <laughs> and certainly that would involve Mateo Durant. They'll throw it on first down, wide open target at the 35, past midfield. Here comes Calhoun. Calhoun changing direction. Foot race for Calhoun at the 10 and is in for the score a touchdown 80 yards Jalen Calhoun and Duke finally finds pay dirt you want to figure out how to start a half this is how you do it first of all watch the quarterback watch Gunnar Holmberg he takes a shot but the toughness delivered the ball right on time to Calhoun and now it just turns into a foot race now, I know it's still a lot left in this football game but they need points in this drive to get this game a little bit closer. Tapped around and picked off. Terrific play by the Tar Heel secondary. That's the transfer from Auburn, Cameron Kelly. Pressure, Powell will go down. Loss on the play and a sack for Anais Peebles. In the upcoming draft, he's gonna throw for over 10,000 yards regardless. Howell from the pocket again steps up and delivers a strike at the 36 yard line to his favorite target Josh Downs who held on to that one for eight yards. The speed and the arm velocity of Howell that's a sets you up for a nice first down almost. On second and two Howell this time swallowed up in the backfield another sack Ben Fry leading the charge for Duke. Boy he, he's an NFL talent, talented quarterback there's no doubt about that I think the right opportunity for him. It'll be fine, but you got to have protection because right now <laughs> this is the fifth sack. A lot of beef for the Tar Heels on third of the yard. They go wide and they go to Jordan Waters and he's got no chance. That'll be a loss on the play. Gimmel and Miles Murphy on the tackle. So that's how you know he's going to get the football. Short yardage has been a struggle for both teams today. Again running wide. Second effort will get it. And that'll be a first down and then some for DJ Jones, talented sophomore out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Jones now seven carries, 29 yards. Howell rips one, caught at the 45. It's Downs, and he looked like he might have had a foot race, but then he lost his footing. Oh, man, this one was thrown on the rope. In the old days, before the transfer portal, you'd have to really have some guy <laughs> learning on the fly. Instead, you pick up a 2,000-yard rusher. Off the free agent pile. Big head of steam and a big touchdown for Ty Chandler. Several scores in orange and another one here in Carolina Blue from 14 yards out. His experience and his ability to help some of the younger running backs. They love what he did right here. Yeah, they love just give him the football. Get some guys out front. Let them know I'm too sexy for my shirt. Touchdown. Long jump champion, you see the long end speed for the track star out on the football field. Third down and nine. Four-man rush by Duke. And Howell threads the needle, completes it to who else? Josh Downs. Here comes Josh Downs. Straight to the end zone for a touchdown. How about 63 yards? We just talked about the athletic uh, athletic ability and the speed. Look, I get excited just talking about it. To the outside, the ball, once it gets in his hands, I told you, it's like a video game. A, B button, whatever you want, but he's got that burst. There's nobody that can catch him. I mean, this is not the game that you expected. We thought it was going to be a shootout, and it became more of a struggle 
defensively, right? North Carolina's defense was able to take care of business, and there was no scoring on the Duke side, but this is a great response to the game last week. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.